back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is ayana and you want to go ahead press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss any videos from me all right so let's go ahead and get into today's video all right y'all i feel like i'm cheesing so hard <laughs> Well, I've been wanting to do this video for a big old minute. It feels so nostalgic doing DIY natural hair thing. When I started my natural hair journey, that's all I was looking at was DIY everything, especially Natural 85. She's the DIY queen, okay? Today, I will be making my own DIY oil blend y'all i've been wanting to do one of these for the longest i will be using my empty container from melanin hair care because this is the only container i really have on hand that is empty and i like that it has a nozzle on it so i'm going to be putting everything in this bottle the reason why i'm making this oil blend is not only for my scalp because y'all know we're doing the 2022 healthy hair growth challenge if you didn't know in the description check the video out but i am supposed to be oiling my scalp twice a week along with doing scalp massages and i also like to still use oil on my actual shaft or my natural hair i am going to go over the oils that i decided to use for this diy oil blend so i actually have six oils in total i have some jojoba oil everybody know about it jojoba oil we have coconut oil i have some olive oil and then i have some black castor oil and then lastly i have almond oil and avocado oil so these are just six oils that I have all the oils I ordered them off of Amazon so if you're interested in following along with this video getting exact materials that I used in this video check my Amazon shop link in the description box all the oils will be there for you and let's go ahead and make this oil blend all right y'all so let's go ahead and get started like I said you're gonna need an empty container and I'm gonna be using the olive oil first olive oil is supposed to help aid in preventing the damage of the hair help with hair breakage, help with nourishing the scalp and the hair and things like that. So I will be using olive oil first and this is how much I put in. I'm not sure of the measurements, but we eyeballing it. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is jojoba oil. Y'all know jojoba oil is the oil, okay? So I put about, I wanna say 13 squeezes of jojoba oil in the bottle. Jojoba oil is a good oil that moisturizes the scalp and it's supposed to help reduce dandruff as well if you do have a dandruff. And it is the oil that's closest to the oil sebum that's on our scalp. So that's a very good oil. The next oil I'm going in with is black Jamaican castor oil. Y'all already know about castor oil, okay? Castor oil is a very good oil that helps with the scalp, with thickening the hair. It also helps with moisturizing the hair. It also is supposed to help aid in reducing the amount of split ends. It won't prevent split ends, but it's supposed to help reduce the amount of split ends. And it also promotes hair growth. Okay, the next oil is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is more of a moisturizing oil. It is good for conditioning the scalp, softening the hair, strengthening the hair, and it's supposed to help aid with reducing split ends. But I believe I put around 13 to 16 squeezes of the sweet almond oil in this container, but this oil is very, very good for the scalp. It's very moisturizing. Next up, we have the avocado oil. Now y'all remember when we did that avocado and banana hair mask, so I was super excited to be putting this into my oil blend. Avocado oil is good for reducing dandruff, preventing breakage. It also helps with detangling the hair, so I'm not sure about that, but I want to try it out just to see. And it's supposed to help protect your hair from damage. But I believe I put around 13 to 16 squeezes of the avocado oil into the oil blend. And lastly, we have the good old faithful coconut oil. I know she's been canceled several times, but I'm still using it, okay? But no, I really, really like coconut oil. I've been using coconut oil since the beginning of my natural hair journey. I really like coconut oil for sealing in the moisture of the hair. So that is a very great oil for sealing in moisture. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop probably out a spoon or two. Maybe two was too much, but I scooped out about a spoon of coconut oil and I put it in my measuring cup. I am gonna be melting it down with hot water. So I'm just gonna pour some hot water into the bowl and then sit the measuring cup inside of the hot water to let the coconut oil melt. But this is also a side note. You do not wanna microwave your oils because something with the microwave, it will just reduce the the potentness of the oil so you don't want to microwave your oils you just want to melt them down with just hot water or if you need to warm your oils up just use hot water so after it's done melting i'm gonna go ahead and pour the remaining of the oil into the container and just go ahead and shake it up shake it up and get everything mixed together i just finished making the oil blend as y'all just saw so it's shaking up shooking up 
mixed together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my scalp. And let's see how this is going to work. And it doesn't feel sticky because I know I put a little bit, I thought I put a little bit of too much castor oil in there. Let's go ahead and plus some to my scalp. And like I said, my main purpose for this oil is for right now, since I have my braids in, is to massage it into my scalp twice a week. And then after I take my braids out, I'll most likely be using the oil on my shaft of my hair as well. So that is the main use for my oil. But you can probably use this oil to probably put it on your skin if you're somebody that likes oil on your skin after you take a shower. You most likely use this as a... Um, skin moisturizer as well but this is it y'all so i'm super happy i was able to get this done finally because i've been wanting to do one for a long long time i will be using it every chance i get because guess what we made it we made it we did it is it's ours okay so i will be using this twice a week on my scalp and once I take my braids out on the shaft of my hair when I moisturize and all that stuff. So I'm super excited, y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Let me know down below, have you ever made a DIY oil blend before? And if you have, what type of oils did you put into your DIY oil blend? Let me know that stuff down below in the comment section. And also, will you be trying this DIY oil blend now that you've seen this video? Let me know this down below in the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one. My name is Ayana Lachey, and I am the creator, the owner, and illustrator for Ayana Lachey Illustrations. I started Ayana Lachey Illustrations back on October 25th, 2019. I create my own illustrations for t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, wall decor, poster prints, um, and more things to come when I expand my catalog. I'm not going to tell you yet, but it's a bunch more to come. I aim for my illustrations and my brand to empower, encourage, and inspire our Black community out here, y'all. We really need this. Some deals that I have on my shirts and products on my site right now is if you sign up for the newsletters, you will receive 10% off your first order. And also when you sign up for the newsletter, you'll be in the know about when I launch new products, when I launch um, new designs, what's new to come, early bird access to the new designs, um, details on how I came up with a specific design or a specific collection. And you'll also get some exclusive deals on the newsletter. So make sure you go check out my website and my brand at www.ayanalacheillustrations.com and I'll see you guys over there rocking your gear.